a very uh, dysfunctional family, and uh, I need to talk about it. And <laughs> my therapist said that if I talk about it, it'll be a little easier. So, you know, my, I don't know all of you, I know enough, and you're a very compassionate group, so I'm sure you wouldn't mind my sort of talking out the dysfunction and seeing if I could work it out, even if it was a family matter. But unfortunately for this country, the dysfunction of my family is exactly the same dysfunction as our healthcare system. Now at that point you might say, what in the hell is going on? <laughs> so let me explain. I have a very precocious youngest daughter. And at the age of 15, at a, a family Thanksgiving dinner, we had invited a number of friends along, high-powered ma major forces in the healthcare community. And my wife had sat them next to me, and then the whole rest of the family just, you know, moved out, kids in the next room and all that kind of, you understand that except for my youngest daughter who was sitting at the table, and the three of us were engaged in pretty high-level discussions about how we were going to transform the healthcare system. And my, at that point, I think 15-year-old daughter stops the conversation. She said, I've had enough. She said, Dad, you and your friends are totally useless. You big thinking economists with your fancy models and your big national systems have no impact on the practice of healthcare in America. This is a 15 year old. And I don't want to have anything to do with economists and anything. I want to help people. Shut us up. And it led to years of barely talking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> she went on, and then I made a second mistake. She went on to go to Brandeis, <laughs> where she actually got a wonderful education, which made our problem worse. <laughs> and then decided that the Northeast was uh, not an acceptable place to grow, live in, and so she moved and decided that she was going to get a master's in public health, and she was going to focus on individuals and the community in terms of health care, and went to the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill to get a master's in public health, and refused to move back. Pay us a visit occasionally. <laughs> now has two grandchildren. I do from her. Um, so, not being able to get her to move to New England, I moved to Chapel Hill. <laughs> and so the battle that started when she was 15 years old continues. And as I said, I believe that it is at the center of the reason why we cannot get our healthcare system to really work well. We need to find a way for those of us who are the so-called big thinkers with our big national models and our big econometric models to recognize that healthcare at the end of the day is at the community level. And we need to figure out a way to make what we are doing at the national level work at the level that you work at. And in return, since you, those of you who are working, like my daughter, at the community level, need to think about the kinds of models and efforts that we should be thinking about at the national level to sort of make your life doable.